Okay, so with the removal of um, all chat coming soon, there has never been a more important time than ever to have emotes in the game as a means of communicating versus the enemy team. What we're going to be doing today though, is rating every emote in League of Legends based on how tilting it is to the enemy team when you flash it, which I think is gonna be possibly the most important tier list of all time. So S will ruin your enemy's life, will tilt them badly. Pretty tilting, kind of annoying, neutral emote, positive emote, cringe. Vein, putting the fingers to the thing. I would be willing to say like kind of cringe, but I actually think it's probably like a neutral emote. Cause like honestly, like I, the only time I ever see people use that emote in game is when they do something stupid. So it's kind of generally like quite neutral. That is the like, I just did something incredibly stupid. Let me put my, let, let me flash this emote to, <laughs> to show how intelligent I am. I don't, is this Poppy or uh, po Reindeer Poppy? I'm like kind of cringe. Like I don't think it does anything. I don't know if it's a positive emote. It's not annoying. It just exists. Either, cr I think it's probably just positive. Same with, uh, I think neutral. I don't think that you're ever gonna necessarily see like this emote tilt you. This, the Graves, is this Graves like deliberating here? Hold on, I'm thinking I'm gonna make my uh, box a little smaller. Is it Silas? Yeah, I'm gonna say cringe. Like I don't, you know what I mean? Like, eh, you know? <laughs> the Jace emote where he's like sparkly eyed, like I'll probably say like neutral. I don't think it does anything. Same with the cat. WTF are you doing? Cringe. So far, we've got a lot of them out of the game that like, I, you know, maybe like kind of annoying actually. Maybe we could put that there. I don't think that that's a life ruiner for sure. Maybe we could say Leona as a C as well. She's kind of thinking. Nothing I'm seeing that will like ruin your enemy's life. The Jinx celebrating, kind of neutral. Doesn't really tilt me. Doesn't tilt me like at all. I don't even know like what this expression is supposed to be. Is this Katarina? Like, I, or who is it? I don't know. I, I don't know what, I don't know what emotion it's celebrating. Like it's, it's, it's doing here. Offended? Like, kind of neutral then, I guess? Or maybe cringe, I don't know. I'll admit the B's kind of tilting. I'd say, like, I'd say maybe A tier for that particular B. I'd say, like, neutral emo is the, the, the other B. Because that's usually when you die. It doesn't tilt your enemy to see it. That's just a good emo for expressing that you just got ganked. Sick, and the other B? I'd say maybe, like, a C. I don't know, is it an S tier? Is it an S tier? The B's are good emotes, but... I think only this one is the one that you, when you see it, you're like, I can't believe it, you know? The crying B is totally A, B if you flash it after. Oh, you know what? I'll, I'll be wanting to put it in B tier then, in that case. For B. B for B. I think, like, this would be very tilting, but only if you're actually playing Tam Kench. Uh, you know what? Yeah, sure, put it cringe. The dog? I like seeing the dog. I'm, I'm, I like to see the dog. I'm happy for it to be in positive emo. Gingerbread Man is, like, neutral. Kind, like, kind of annoying, but, like, not... Well... Maybe pretty tilting, and then I'd say the Ari one, kind of annoying. See, the thing is, I've seen this flashed after somebody makes a plane kills me, and I'm like, mm, when they do the, oh, I'm so cute, I just murdered you, like, 1v1. <laughs> I'd say, like, maybe, like, pretty tilting. I'd say that that one's kind of annoying. The the Fiora, giving the okay sign. The Asso one, with the him beckoning you, cringe, um, absolutely. I'm, I'm gonna say that the cupcake, for whatever reason, it's an emote that like literally like lights the fuse on people for some reason. Like I genuinely don't know why, but people like hate this cupcake. It's so antagonistic. Yeah, all hell breaks loose when this cake pops up then. When the cupcake pops up, like all hell breaks loose for sure. I'm gonna say neutral. I, I have never seen anybody use that portal. The penguin though, I don't know if it's S tier, right? It's gotta be up there. Like the penguins are absolutely bro. It's gotta be, I, I think it's personally like A and I use the dab emote like a lot. I think Mepengu is like, the Mepengu is like S tier for sure. We're gonna put, we're gonna put the Mepengu straight up there. In fact, is there any other, you know what? There's a, there's a different Mepengu with a bow tie as well. Graves, given the eyes. I'd say like C, it's not like quite cringe. <laughs> Wooo, I'm like, once again, it just seems very neutral to me. I always see people using the this emote correctly. Like whenever they die and they whip out the Moo Moo emote, like that's when I see it. I'm like, it's either neutral or it's like positive in a way that they're kind of like laughing at themselves. I never, you never see people pop this emote after they kill you, which is weird. That this one is used really well. The player base has this emote down to a T, 100%. They were, they're using it crazy well. Uh, I never ever see this emote used. I've never seen it used, but I'm like, it's probably, it's quite cringe, so. Uh, Blitzcrank, S tier. Blitzcrank is like an undisputed, probably top of S. And that is one that everybody gets right as well for the tilt. The dogs, like cringe a little bit. 
I don't really, I've never seen it. I, I have the dogs on my PBE account for some reason. And whenever I press T and I see the dogs, I die inside like a little bit. Because I'm like, why have I got these dogs here? Draven, uh, if you are playing Draven, will tilt. A lot of these, like, a lot of these emotes are like, if you're specifically playing the champion that is the emote, then they, they have like an amplifying effect of devastation. If you're playing Draven and then you 1v2 and murder somebody, and then you whip that emote out, consider yourself, like, consider all chat opened, consider the fingers, the pistons firing, that's it. Draven Cupcake, kind of annoying, I'd say. Um, Love Heart Pengu, po probably a positive emote, I never see anybody use it, but it doesn't seem to have any real major tilting effects on me. I think, like, most Ezreal emotes are cringe, I hate to say it. Uh, I, I like, you know what, I actually like seeing these emotes. I, I never really see people, like, use them badly. Like, I like seeing them in-game. They're like, if, if you go away and somebody pops a Poro emote, you're kind of like, hey, nice to see you. I'm gonna kill you now. Cup of coffee, this is fine. I think, like, neutral, because it seems to only be, like, supports that... It's a great emote, like, don't get me wrong, but it's used to communicate to the enemy team that you hate your team. So I would not say that this is this doesn't tilt the enemy team. This is like the, the, the emote that you flash when your ADC, uh, like, runs in as you're coming to lane, and then dies 1v2, and then Soraka is, or Sona is sitting at uh, the tower and just pops that emote as she gets pushed in. This will tilt your team. But it will not tell the enemy team. This cat, like usually the other cat, like I actually think like and this has the potential to be annoying to some people. The cat can be like Megaton. I'd see either like a B or a C. This particular emo is used a lot in the game, and I would maybe argue that it's pretty telling. I'd say I, like I just I don't see the emo enough to know the effects of it. Like there is a lot of emotes. Some of them I've never even seen before. Same with like this emo. Like I don't have one opinion about it or the other. That being said, if you're playing against Thresh, I have seen this emote. If Thresh, playing against a Thresh that's good is telling us this. Playing against a Thresh that's good and also emotes with a Thresh emote is the worst. It's horrible. Now, I'd say GG is possibly S tier also. When you die in lane and then the enemy flashes this after they kill you, oh boy. <laughs> Oh boy! It takes every inch of your being to not boot up the low chat on that one. That's gotta be the that's gotta be up there. GLHF, you can't really use that in like a unnecessarily derogatory way. So actually, like unironically, just a freaking a nice emote to use. Karth is singing. Like I'm genuinely have never I've never seen anybody use this emote in the game. I, I it's just so stupid looking. I just I'm not sure about it. Oh, he's laughing. Oh wow. Okay, maybe maybe like. You know what, the fact that he's laughing, I'm gonna bump him up to see. Like, why is he singing? I don't know, maybe because it's like, it's his job. It's his literal job. I'd be wanting to see that just Nunu's face in general is just super annoying. I would argue that like, Ziggs is like, maybe B. M maybe like, high B as well. Zoe, I I A tier, 100%. I'm not like, I'm not really one way or the other about that particular emo, if I'm being perfectly honest with you. Okay, that, like this, this Ezreal has got to be like, Definitely B tier. As for the other Ezreal, I don't know, something about, something about thinking emotes are a bit cringe, Ezreal emotes. Poppy looking not too happy. It's kind of neutral. I don't know, I don't know. I don't, I, I, it's usually used by the person that gets killed, I would imagine. I never ever see it run though. Never ever see that emote. Is that, is she cry laughing? Oh, she's pointing and laughing. Okay, you know what? Like I would say, maybe B tier. Firecracker Vane, putting her finger on her, like, I feel like once, I mean, it's a very similar aura to this one, where it's like, I've just done the dumbest thing you've ever seen. <laughs> I like seeing that emote. I don't care. I like seeing the pangu. Uh, that one, where she's like, giving the, the face. See, I've got the cupcake. I, cho I choose war. I've got, I've got the B as well. I've got like, all tier S's here. I, I choose war in the morning. Oh, all right. So I want either GG or Blitzcrank. <laughs> you know, like that's not even on this list, but it's a question mark. I don't hate it. Man, we're, we're discovering new stuff. Question mark frog. I actually like, I respect, I respect question mark frog, like bizarrely. I'm going to replace question mark frog with uh, that. They were set for war here, for sure. I, I mean, not like, love isn't cringe, but like, wh when are you ever gonna use that emote, right? Never, right? Like, never, literally never. Lo old lollipoppy? I, like, 
I feel like it's funny more than anything. It's not cringe. I'm like, is it like I maybe I think people would get a laugh out of that. Um, scared Riven, t super neutral. Like, is that Silas again? It looks so weird, man. I don't know what it is about Silas, like, but he's like racking up L after L on this list. He's racking up L's, man. He's just, three of his emotes are in cringe. Like, I don't know. Like, I I will admit, I like Howdy Bitch. I like the Howdy partner. It could either be used well as a positive emote to like say like hello to the person you're leaning against or I don't know you kill somebody and then you rack up I'd say like I see it like if somebody whips out after they double kill you or something like that could be bad this cat doesn't particularly tilt me but it seems like the cat has the potential to tilt really hard like this see this one's dangerous this one doesn't seem so dangerous regardless I you know what bizarrely I actually see this this Alistair emote used like quite a lot from people that play Alistair. So I would say like maybe like probably kind of annoying. Cause I do I do see quite a lot of Alistair players running this emote. It seems like kind of neutral. Like Nico as well looking kind of angry. Doesn't tilt doesn't like strike me as something you'd use to tilt the enemy team. I could see definitely this Pengu being kind of tilting. This Garen, I'd say like probably maybe B tier if you're playing Garen. So here's the thing, I think the only the only person that is ever going to use this emote is an Alawi one trick. And it will have been after you just 2v1 like ganked into an Alawi and she killed both of you. And I think that's the only situation where this emote will ever get any use. But it is in the most like tragic of circumstances. Therefore, it immediately gets like belted straight up into the ranks. Lee Sin, I hate I I, I like, this is just personal preference. I hate it. Like I hate seeing it. Like this, this uh, when I see this emo after I've been dragon kicked into like a tower or something, it piss, it just annoys me. <laughs> I don't see this used like nearly enough, right? But like, I'm at, like I think jungle mains need to use this emo more. How devastating is it? Imagine the you're, as the jungle comes into the lane, this emo is above his head. Jungle mains, you need to make more use of the the tent emo, right? As you come out of the river bush. This emote needs to be above your head as you're coming in on the, the enemy top lane, right? Because I, I assure you, it will ruin their life. Fizz? Uh, dude, it's either an A or S. This is, this, I, this emote, like, what are we, uh, like, I, the amount, oh man. This is a, uh, I guess I just killed you emote. And like, it, it gets a lot of use. Doesn't have to be, doesn't have to be just Fizz that plays it. This is not specifically for like, like fizz means they're just oopsie killed you <laughs> <coughs> guess you couldn't do anything the akali i can't remember where her oh the mic drop like cringe for sure 100 mic drop uh i kind of like that emote actually i don't get to see it much very neutral though the cat with the fish in its mouth i like that emote a frankenstein minion with its hands up uh, sure like a neutral like i guess the brom one like that's that's what you flash to your teammate after you he barely saves you from getting killed with like a we I don't think that's to tell the enemy team that you, you use that to transmit information to your teammates. I have never seen monkey emo. Uh, it looks like he's got himself a coconut drink with a straw or no, he's got no, he's got a cup of cocoa. I a hundred percent. Every Nautilus main on earth runs this emo and they know what they know what to do with it. They know what they're doing with this emo. So it, it's freaking up there. It's right next to Thresh. I actually like like this. <laughs> Like, it is such an oh my, oh, oh sh <laughs> This is like the emo that you, like, when you survive on 5 HP and you manage to kill the enemy team, like the enemy laner. But like, it's not like a mocking emo. It's usually like a, I have just soiled, soiled my pants. And like, I don't think you use that to tilt the enemy team. I think there's much better emotes to use. I think it's like a, I can't believe I lived that type beat. Lux, I think... I'm not sure I'm gonna get any any like uh, flack for this. I would be willing to wager that this emote is suffering for sure. Like when you're when you get stun locked for f like six seconds and get killed, and then that just rubs salt in the wind for sure. I'd say that that the, this Lux emote is up there for sure. I'd maybe put him up there with like either B or A, like alongside the other emote. That being said, the Yasso one is I think I would argue an S tier as well. I you know what, like, I'm, I'm honestly, like, kind of feeling C on that one. 
Like if you if you're losing lane to a Yasuo and he's hitting you with that emote, oh man, it's bad. It's bad as hell. It's 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 devastating. Velkos Odarn, like I like. I don't I don't hate to see it at all. I think it's a fun little emote. You know what? I changed my mind. I'm gonna put it in like B tier actually. If you're playing Velkos, you know like things can really change when you think. Um, are you playing? Are you playing the character depicted in the emote, right? This gets popped after like Velkos just like 1v2's bot lane where the enemy ADC is just trying to like tie his shoelaces. So like for instance, I would argue that that's cringe. I think that this is a cute emote and positive. I don't think you use that to tilt the enemy team. The the Ramus is 100% S tier though, for sure. Maybe even like top, like no, I don't think it's above. I, you know what? I don't even think it's above Cupcake, but I think it's above like everything else. I don't know why this Cupcake it, like starts wars, but it does. And like Blitzcrank is just like just freaking up there for sure as well. I'd say like this is a neutral emote, the the Nico, the Tariq. Uh, like I'd say is S. If you're if you're playing Tariq, it's an S rank as well. After Tariq like gets a perfect ulti off and manages to survive or like one v twos, that's it. You hit that out and it's whoa. The the big brain Karma emote is not here. This is the one that I'm referring to. It should be on here. It's a tilter, hundred percent. Poro. Uh, I think it has the potential to be like pretty annoying. It is up there. It's not like a, but I don't even know if it's B tier, but it's certainly like it can be annoying that one. Uh, the the little like what are they called the little the legends probably like kind of neutral. I would argue. I feel like Pengu on a on a like a water, uh, like a, a water ring, sipping on a coconut, kind of like easy chilling, not like crazy. But still, like, maybe could tell somebody a little bit. Kind of annoying. You kill somebody, you make it look like you're no big deal. Like, a, a poor riding on Nico's head. I'm like, I don't, don't think that's really much of anything. I think this has, if you're playing Heimerdinger, has the potential to be A tier. Like, these these two are, like, like I mean, Zoe in general is just, like, fine. But, like, emotes that you know that people that main them are decking themselves out with. You get you you run in circles for like 30 seconds around Heimerdinger with like four turrets blasting at you, and he whips that out. Oh boy, are you you're done? You're for sure you're you've had enough. <laughs> um, the rep emote, I'd say probably could be quite tilting. Although like it depends because I think like you can, uh, well it uh, maybe kind of an uh, actually I don't know because like like it's. You could, it's more of a commiseration as opposed to rubbing it in. And I'd say like maybe the cat, just something about the cat just gets people going. Timo, I'd say probably S tier. The cat, like this cat in particular, just this one, gets people going. It gets people in some kind of way. They hate, they just don't, they like, don't like his smug face. Uh, the little crab, I like the little crab. I don't think he's uh, a tiller for sure. Wukong, I don't even know what he's doing there. Oh, he's shushing. Ah, uh, I see. Maybe like kind of annoying. I never see that emote though. Doesn't really bother me. Same like I'd say maybe like any any kind of one trick reliant things. I'm like they, they get some bump they get some points bumped up. I don't even know who this is. Is this like it's it's heartbreaker? But like you know what? It's gonna get a cringe just because I can't even tell who it is. I could actually like kind of see this emote being like kind of telling. <laughs> In the right circumstances, oh boy. Look at, look at his freaking face, dude. Look at his freaking face. Neutral, and the Nico Poro, very neutral. I, I I see it being kind of annoying, the popcorn jinx, but I don't like see it being like, I don't really know, it doesn't really affect me that much, but I can see it. You know what, like I feel like that's one that you use when you've been dived three times. So almost like neutral. Something about this strikes me as like, Thresh's use it quite a lot, or maybe Fiddlesticks as well. And I think, like, you definitely maybe deserve Zed to be up here on the A tier. So, like, Pumpkin B, us oh, Hecarim, Crying Ezreal, kind of neutral. I'd say, like, Jink, uh, like, Caitlyn with the tea, drinking the tea, maybe a little bit of B tier, for sure. Teemo, it's not nearly as good as the other one. But I'd be willing to put it B. Rakan, though, look at his face, is just, you just hate to see it. Now, what on earth is going on here? Is that Pike? You really think that the FF flag should be B or A? I guess it depends on the usage of it. I'd be willing to put it either. I'd be willing to put it A. Oh, it's Argot? Yeah, I like it. It's cool. It's a cute little emote. Nothing crazy, though. I don't think it's going to do much for you, though. I think, like, the Evelyn emotes are a little bit cringe. I think Nunu just gets, like, a base level, like, C for being, like, being annoying. 
Well, actually, you know what? He'd be what maybe you want to put him to be. Tam, uh, it's got to go up there for sure. At least an A. I'm willing to change my mind on that one, though. Tam just instills, like, tilt from existence. Like, I think, to be honest. <laughs> Silas with a thumbs down. I gotta say, like, it could be pretty tilting. The Devil Poro. I, I like the Devil Poro, but I, I don't think it's positive or not. Okay, yeah, you know what? I, I'm seeing a trend here, and it's like emotes that one tricks definitely run on the A rank. They only get bumped up to S when, like, when the when the skin when the emo is universal, crying jinx. I'll put a C. Doesn't really tilt me tremendously. Laughing J laughing Ash though, like, is gotta be up in the A rank though. <laughs> Bread Yumi. See, like, I, I, I don't know if it is it really. Do people get tilted by this emo? Cause I think it's like a funny emo, and I like the emo. I like seeing the emo. Do people really get tilted by this? Just like a cat with bread on his head. I think it's like I, I mean I don't I don't discern any like particular e like emotion from it. I'm just like haha funny cat Lamal. It looks like a kind of like I can't believe it's it's kind of similar to the other one where it's like I can't believe I lived that. Um, I'd say like this goes in neutral alongside these three because this this is definitely once again an emote that you do when you flash into a wall. The rest of the emotes that's a positive emote for sure. Um, I would still say that like the one trick emotes. I, you know, like, Alistair's so swag that I don't even get tilted when he pops this one, but I'd still put him, like, in B. You can't cringe, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'll put that in uh, neutral. The wincing Sona, I'd say maybe, like, possibly high tier. Maybe A. And then, finally, I think, is this, uh, Karma? I'm not sure. Blessing, blessing up Karma? I'd say probably not that, not one way or the other. Kench is way better than Sona. Yeah, but he's, she's bottom A, B, A tier, and this is top A tier. So, you know. I'd say like, let's say the enemy whiffs the skill shot, you hit them with that emote, and it's like, whoo, you know? Listen, feel free to argue in the comment section when the YouTube video goes live. Since uh, there's a strong possibility that the uh, the all chat will get removed, you're, we're good. we need an emote, we need a tier list like this. We need a tier list. This might not be the final revised version when it, when all said and done, but we need to have a we need to have a building block for us to start the discussion. For when it happens, and we need to come to a consensus. I'm I'm just disappointed that there's quite a lot of like missing emotes here because this was updated like when I clicked on it. Wait, let me check. This was their version, but it said like updated like you know 10, 14, and I would say ah, oh, you know what? This doesn't even have the thumbs up emote. I'm realizing now the thumbs up emote is devastating in its own right. I could flash the fact that I was honor level five in 2019, which is pretty neat. If if I missed one of the ones that you want. My god, please let me know. Plenty of work to be done on this list.